Welcome everybody. Um, this is a very fun thing to be doing this morning. Um, when I was obviously thinking of bringing David back to our retreat for our 10th anniversary, I thought what a great way to just simply all of us have a chance to sort of spend some time with David and hear a little bit about the man's wonderful career. And I just want to express my gratitude um, for you coming back and sharing an anniversary with us. Um, it's a bit like having my guitar hero in the, in the house. So David, it's Great. just wonderful to have you with us. Thank you very much. So just a really in, informal chat, and I've got Perfect. some questions, Great. and some of them are really stupid, and, uh, and some of them are a wee bit more um, intelligent, let's say. Uh, but I just thought I'd get the, the ball rolling. Um, the most obvious question, probably everybody would know that I'll start with this question. When, and kind of maybe why, did you actually start to play this instrument that we all love, the guitar? As a child, I started, um, my father played guitar, and, you know, it's kind of fun when you see your dad happy, he, would, he was a school teacher, an art teacher in school, and he'd come home and he'd have a glass of wine and play guitar, you know, it was, in some ways, the happiest times I had with him when I was a really, I mean, I mean, like, a three-year-old or something. But... My mum, who will come tomorrow, uh, she claims that it was her, uh, she is the reason why I play guitar. <laughs> because when my mother and father got married, he gave my mum a guitar for like kind of like a wedding present or something. It was, it was a kind of panormal like guitar that he, he bought in the Gorbals, which is a, <laughs> uh, a, in a market in yeah, Glasgow. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and she learned to play guitar while she was pregnant with me. And they say that you can hear everything when you're inside. So, who knows? It no, yeah, doesn't really matter, sure. but uh, that's what, So they each have their claim to the reason. But then I started to play and I just loved it. And it's the typical thing, you know, when you're the only one that, apart from your father that plays, then and, and all of, everybody says, oh, you do that really well. Go away and do it some more. Yeah, yeah. so every time there's a party or a family Absolutely, event, yeah. I had to play. Yeah, absolutely. Great. Um, and, like, when you're thinking about those early years, I guess, you know, playing guitar and being in that sort of really encouraging family environment, is there a particular piece or is there a particular type of music that really sort of started to draw you towards a classical guitar, you know? Well, my father had a collection of um, 78 RPM, the really old yeah. uh, records, of mostly of Andres Segovia, okay. but also there was Rubinstein and, you know, piano stuff and certain other pieces, and, and also a whole lot of Django Reinhardt. Okay, great. So he liked Django Reinhardt, and also uh, some flamenco guy, I can't remember, uh, Nino Ricardo and a couple of these guys. So my father played a bit of flamenco, a little bit of jazz, and then the classical. Ah, okay. And for some reason, I seemed to like the classical most, <laughs> you know, and he taught me how to play a few little pieces. We learned by ear. He couldn't read music. Oh. So we learned by ear, minuet by saw and things like that. Yeah, lots of wrong notes. And, uh, and, <laughs> yeah. But it was, that was the beginning. So your family is musical then? Your, your dad was musical? Yeah, yeah. And he played until he was really old. Yeah. And he passed away a year ago. But, um, okay. But uh, he, yeah, because he loved it. They, yeah. They're all artists, though. The yeah. whole family. My mum is an artist. She still paints. My father painted until he was really old. Oh. But the music is, well, it's a, if you like, a hobby. Yeah. So. yeah. And what about the, having artists in your family and have, having a, a mother who's a painter? Has that also sort of in, in influenced you or inspired you? Because it's obviously not music, but it's another form of, of yeah. art. So. I think all artistic forms, perhaps, is perhaps a way of life rather than, um, than the fact that something you see relates to something that you hear. I don't know if it's so much that. It's just that many artists who live, especially the way my parents did, are, are willing to give up a lot of luxuries in life yeah. for other luxuries, yeah, yeah. which is, we, when I was about six, my parents decided, and Scotland is fantastic, and I love coming back here, but, you know, the winters are kind of long and <laughs> pretty dull. And, and summers for, are good, though. Summers are incredible, yeah. <laughs> Especially if you happen to be here for that week. <laughs> that one week, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, we're hoping we get a week. This week is fantastic, it's incredible. No, it really. Yeah. And, but my, my parents really wanted, uh, especially, you know, the, the sunlight of the south of France and things like that. And so we, we were then three children, I think, and we just piled into a van <laughs> and went and ended up in Spain. And we ended up uh, in Menorca, which is an island. 
and they basically started making a living selling paintings. So it's, it was kind of like, like living as hippies without drugs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sort of, you know, it, it, which is a lot of fun. I mean, with all the difficulties and that, but it was, it was a lot of fun. So that, that mentality perhaps hasn't, hasn't to do directly with the art itself, yes, yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's the desire for an artistic life that they wanted yeah. that certainly influenced me and my brothers and sisters. Yeah, absolutely.